child poverty. There is a direct link between non-payment of child maintenance and child poverty. Studies have shown that if the child maintenance that was due was actually paid, that child poverty across the board would be reduced by over 50%. That's huge. That is a big thing. So by doing one thing, by making the government who is responsible for the child maintenance service actually enforce those that are meant to be paying, then child poverty could be reduced by half like that. They see children go to school, maybe dirty faces, dirty clothes, they automatically look and assume that child's been neglected. No, that child might just live in a family where they can't afford to replace the washing machine, they can't afford to heat the water to wash the clothes, they can't afford the laundry detergent and the soap, they can't, or even if they do manage to heat the hot water and dry it and wash the clothes, where are they going to dry it if they can't afford a tumble dryer or they can't afford the heating? Do the kids go to school next day with soaking wet clothes? with clothes that are slightly damp. So then they're going to be smelly, but they'll be smelling of damp. People just judge. What about kids? They go to school. My kids have had to do it in the past, to go to school in the summer with their wellies on because I couldn't afford to replace their school shoes.